as principal, I have to put this cape on you. <laughs> and I have to mask you. And you have to wear it proudly for at least till midnight tonight. So <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh, what did I do? Look at the mask. You get to put the mask on me here. Being great. What inspired me to teach? Boy, I, I, I'm not really sure about that one. I, I kind of bumbled through a lot of different jobs. And then I finally said, well, you know, I've always liked science. I should try being a science teacher. And it just took. I fell into teaching kind of by accident. Um, it was not my plan. I was actually a media comm major, and I had, then I had an editing business for years. I started substituting just to be a positive uh, presence in my kids' schools. and. Um, then ended up with some long-term subs and realized I really loved it. I love teaching and you know later in life I'm going to be retiring and it's like that's going to make me really sad because I love, I have the joy for teaching. The connections that I make with my students as human beings gives me a lot because um, they're such incredible people and to, when you get to see who they are besides just the work that they turn in when you know you get to see their personalities or they share things they're excited about. I always look at teaching as being kind of a dance you know and if they're not willing to dance with me it's hard for me to dance with them but if we're all willing to dance then I, that's how I get my energy. I love kids um, <clears throat> and I love to see them start in September and I get them all the way to June and it's really hard in September but it's like they can do it, you know, and they're three and four years old and they know how to walk, they can learn how to walk in line and I love the beginning to the end. There's this line in Chesterton, it's from the man who was Thursday and I just love it because I feel like it sometimes sums up life and he says, always be comic in a tragedy, what else can you do? And sometimes life is hard and some seasons are really, really dark and so sometimes you just have to laugh into the darkness um, and know that that's not gonna last. You know, not, the darkness doesn't stay forever. Those hard seasons aren't there for forever. And that's one of the things I've been able to share with my students. They're young and their brains are just like sponges now. And now's the time to just pick up as much as you can. And uh, because when you get to the point where I am in life, you push one more fact in and something falls out the other side. But right now they just can learn so much. So I try to encourage that. So last year during the SOLs, um, I showed up with hot pink hair. Um, it was a darker pink than I intended. I was kind of going for more like rose gold, but um, it was fun. I wanted them two things. I wanted to make them smile on a day that can often be kind of stressful. Um, I just wanted to give them something to laugh about first thing. And I got everything from Miss McKnight, I love your hair, to Miss McKnight, your hair. Um, and also just so that, you know, whenever I was doing my rounds, you know, monitoring the test. You know, if they needed encouragement, obviously I couldn't say anything to them, but they would just know I was there and supporting them and loving them. Is everybody happy? Yes, ma'am. H-A-P-P-Y. Happy, put those hands up, put those hands up and clap them really loud, yay! Oh my gosh, life makes me happy. Sweet tea, the color of sweet tea, that sounds so funny, but the color of sweet tea actually makes me joyful. And I have the greatest family. I have six grandkids, and I love them all. That makes me so happy. I'm a big birder. I, I love to bird. And uh, my wife makes fun of me because I'll be talking to her or somebody else, and if a bird flies by or I hear a sound, I'm suddenly like that dog chasing a squirrel. I'm like, what was that? I ride horses. I've ridden horses since I was seven and my parents didn't want to pay for lessons, so I earned my lessons by scrubbing buckets in the barn. One of my big things is uh, fermentation. Regardless what the fermentation, making beer, mead, or you know, making fermented uh, pickles and stuff like that, the, the things that you can do, the things that nature can do, that, uh, that allows us, to, I mean, it's just neat to watch a bunch of yeast go to work, or to watch lactobacillus bacteria turn a cucumber into a dill pickle. I just, I get, I, I don't know, I, I watch those bubbles come out of my, uh, my fermenter and I'm like, oh, that's so cool.